Okay campers, here we go. Uh, in this set of videos I'm going to show you how to take two-dimensional road profiles, uh, draw them in 2D, and then connect them together into a 3D representation that we can do volumes and stuff with. So first let's take a look at, uh, at 10 plus 20 here. It's 10 plus 20 to 10 plus 30 is what we're going to draw, one 10 meter section of the road. And what I want you to notice is that there's slopes. You know, the center line of the road is here, and then it slopes downhill, so the water will run off in both directions. There's shoulders on each side that have different slopes. Uh, the black uh, vertical rectangles there are curbs, and then there's, you know, dirt slope outside. Uh, and then on the other side, we've got a sidewalk with uh, loam and seed outside of that, but we're not going to draw in the loam and seed. We'll just get out to the second uh, granite curb. So the first thing we have to do to, to uh, get started with this is to establish all these different elevations. If you look at the left-hand side of these drawings, there's the elevations. So we need to be able to go from, say, the center line here at 34.590 meters and go down at 2% uh, scale off what the elevation is there and there and so forth. So what I did is I did that in Excel. I'll show you the spreadsheet here. Uh, up in the upper left of this Excel sheet you'll see uh, you know, the center line elevations and the under drain which is the under drain is over on the right hand side here elevation down there. You'll note that some of the copies I handed out in class have 34.650. That was a typo. Uh, as far as I know, that's the only typo so far. But back to the spreadsheet. Uh, what I did is I used this to calculate those individual elevations at distances from the center line. So this column here is the center line and then we go left to center line, right to center line. The curbs are shown in gray. The main pavement section is shown in blue and the, and the uh, shoulders are in green. This is the sidewalk. So we'll go to MicroStation here and get started. Keep in mind this is where all the data came from. So in MicroStation, notice that I I've set up this file as uh, 3D. So I've got the standard four views. Uh, I'm going to switch pretty much exclusively to the front view for a little while here. Uh, I've drawn in the two grids, since I drew one grid and then copied it and relabeled it 10 plus 30. So these are the two road profiles we're going to draw. I'm going to start with 10 plus 20 and let me see, I've set up a number of different levels, one for the curb, the hot mix asphalt pavement, um, the aggregate sub base course, I've got one temporary one just for the heck of it, and uh, working grid so that what you see here in yellow is the working grid. Um, my working units, let's check that out, working units are meters and millimeters with the master unit format. Since we're doing a metric job, uh, main DOT has switched back to English units in recent years, but this happens to still be a metric job. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and get started. I'll zoom in on 10 plus 20 here, because that's what we're going to be working on. And I'm going to use a smart line, switch to HMA pavement. Blue, yeah, blue's good. I'm going to do a temporary right here, either the middle mouse or both mouse buttons and hit O for origin, right? And what I want to do is have that stay as the origin all the way through drawing this. So I'm going to hit the G key and then you'll notice the S go to settings, G S. And I'm going to uncheck this floating origin box. That means that uh, the floating origin is wherever you start something, it sets that as zero. So now I've essentially established elevation 130 on the center line is always being zero so I can start from there and I'm gonna move up what is it uh, the first one the top of the center line is 34.590 so I'm gonna go uh, 4.590 
and then it's zero in the other direction so I'll just left click so there's the center line I'll start by going left and let's see I'm going over 3.60 0 0.60 and in the x direction the elevation is 34.518 oops I did that wrong it would be 4.518 right 4.518 that doesn't look right though does it Oh, I know. I've got a, I've got my x and y reversed. So let's do 4.518 and the x 3.6. That looking better. Left click there. So there's that. Then I go down. I'm reading off of the spreadsheet as I go here. So then I go down. Uh, let's see to. Where am I on? I'm on Y, so I need to be 4.258. And in the X direction, I'm still at 3.6. Left click again. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And back over to the center line, I go back up slope. And at the center line, I should be at Y dimension of 4.330. X direction of zero, so I can left click there, and then I'll start over in the right of center line direction. Uh, let's see, going right, actually to the, the Y direction. Keep an eye on those AccuDraw things down below. Y direction, so elevation 4.220, X of 5.5 5 in this case. Left click. And I go up again, and that's 4.480. I'm typing in the numbers with my left hand. Oh, see, I got on the X this time. X should be 5.5. Backspace through that. 5.5 and 4.480. I'm running the mouse with my right hand, and... Uh, Type in the numbers with my left hand. Left click, and then we go back over, and it should tie right back into center line where I started. So let's see if we can hit the end of that line. There it goes. So you notice how I wiggled the mouse over onto that other part of the line, and then it'll pop up with that yellow, and I can snap right to it. That's important to make sure it closes. So there's the main travel way. So now I'm going to switch colors to green and draw in the shoulder using the same mode. And of course I can start by snapping to the end of the um, end of the pavement I drew already. And I think what I'm going to do is go offline for a few minutes and draw this stuff in. And uh, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back. And uh, as you can see I finished drawing in the road travel way, the uh, shoulders, the curbs, the sidewalk, and the aggregate sub-base. Um, now what I could try now is to measure the area. Uh, let's see if that's going to work. Yeah, I can get the uh, hot mix asphalt travel way, 2.3413 square meters. Yeah, okay, that's working. Oh, that one's not working. If you have drawn something and, and not one complete pass, you may have to make them into a complex shape. Uh, and we'll try that out. What I basically do is it, is it joins it as one element. Um, and I usually use the automatic method. And then you just left click your way around. That piece, that piece. And I'm not clicking. It automatically went around that element like that. So it, it knew the red colored line and, and went around. So that was pretty cute, wasn't it? Then I can measure the area. There you have it.